This is the new Aperture LS 600C Pro Lite. This is a Synity Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Welcome everybody, Synity here from NAB 2022 at Aperture with Ted, how are you? What's going on guys? It's good <laughs> to be here. So you, we actually attended the announcement of this beautiful light last night, which is called Aperture 600C Pro. Yes, indeed. So it's a new one in the 600 series, which has proven to be very popular. It is. I guess the C is for color, but yes. what else can you tell me about it? Okay, so real quick, I want to talk about what this series of lights means. So in the beginning, I think you remember, uh, there was a time not that long ago where people didn't use interchangeable accessories on their lights. And uh, we really brought that into this industry using the 120D. And for a lot of the Aperture users out there, you know that the idea of our lights is use a point source, hard light, and that that interchangeable mount, you can make that point source a hard light if you keep it open. You can use reflectors, you can use Fresnels, you can use soft boxes, you can use a projection mount. There's literally an infinite amount of accessories that we make to change that light and shape it. If you don't remember, not that long ago, there was a time where your soft light had to be a soft light and your hard light had to be a hard light. And I'm super proud to say that uh, guys, we did it. The industry has really changed in a way that modular lights are a thing that have really taken over. And uh, I think a couple years ago, uh, actually not that long ago, we saw the RE Orbiter, which for us was like the ultimate confirmation of, yes, like this is going and this modular system of lighting is actually changing the industry and it's becoming the new way that we work. And it really is more efficient because instead of having to soften your light using separate stands and stuff like that, everything attaches onto one light. So, we brought this innovation to the industry. We're super happy to see it like taking fold and like using other companies and stuff like that. So, this real quick is a 600C Pro. So, in the beginning with the 120D, the big question that we constantly got was, can it be brighter, can it be brighter, can it be brighter? And we went all the way up to the 1200D, which we just released a couple weeks ago. That's the brightness equivalent of an M18, which is the brightest light that you can plug into a household circuit. So, again, if you're watching this and you're using the losing of those lights, I don't have to explain to you how important that light is. That is a light that can essentially recreate daylight, and that's basically, for a lot of people, it's the brightest light that you'll bring on a lot of the smaller trucks. Now, what we're talking about here, though, is we're talking about the 600C Pro, and what that means is that we're not just pushing brightness anymore. For the first time ever, we have a point source chip on board light that actually has full RGB tunability as well, too. So now what that means is that when you have your modifiers, not only can you shape it into any shape that you want, not only can you actually bring it anywhere you want, because all these lights are battery powerable, but now you can literally say, oh, I want this soft light, or I want this hard light. Actually, I want that soft light green. I want that soft light red. A little too red, I want that a little more pink. And now automatically, right here, using Sidus Link, I can show you, I have full app controllability, and I am changing this product right now, going through and actually dialing in all of my colors here. And again, this is now on the fly. You don't have to worry about gels or anything like that. Super, super easy to do. Um, in addition to that, what we want to talk about is, you know, I think for us, one of the big questions that we've been getting a lot of is, you know, this RGB tunability, like what, what took so long to be able to get it? And um, the thing that I want to be clear of here is that for us, this is a really important advancement for us because this is one of the components, that chip on board LED, that's something that we designed from scratch on the component level. So I think when we think about the film tech industry, what we need to realize is that for a long time, this industry used to be kind of a niche industry, which meant that we had to pull innovation from other industries. So the architecture industry or like the medical industry or things like that, that's where the innovations from film tech came from. And we would use those components and then just slot them together into a product. That's how this industry works. For us though, basically as far as point source LEDs goes out, um, the reason that we had to make our own LED and why this is so important is because the first point source LED that was created, and actually came from the architecture industry, and that right there is RGB ACL, which is fine, and that's a six color engine, and it's okay, but the problem is that if you guys are working in film and television, you already know that if you grab a sky panel or a Gemini, and you try to tune in a color, HSI 230 or something like that, HSI 30, and you actually look at the two different colors, you'll notice that they don't match at all. Yeah, it looks different, yeah. Totally different. Yeah. There's literally like no color standards that are being set in this industry, which is one, a problem. But then two, within the same company, so I'm talking about if you take a sky panel and an orbiter, right? The sky panel has RGBW technology compared to, that's a four color engine versus a six color engine, RGB ACL, which again, the reason that this is different is because again, we're just taking components that are coming from different industries here. And when we actually go on there and produce this product, the problem then is that when you actually look at the color science and you try to match two lights from the same brand, they still don't match as well too either. Well, I know people, I mean, most gaffers just eyeball it. They right? just eyeball it. Yeah. And if you dial in, you, put, you should be able to dial into yeah. your settings and say, I want this to be this. And so one of the most important things for Aperture is we build everything in the ecosystem, right? We have Citus Link. Every light exists on a network. They have two-way communication. They verify each other on the network and they communicate with each other. But one of the things that we have to make sure of, which is baseline standard is, 
if you're going to match your lights, we're going to make sure that the underlying technology is the exact same, which is really hard to do because if you think about actually our P300 or P600C, our Nova series, that's an array of chips. And again, that's a one color science. And that color science right there, we've already proven, you can check the tests online. SSI of 84, 85, um, it already, by and large, beats anything that's on the industry as far as color science goes. But when we actually do that, we have to compress that into a chip on board design. That is something that's really, really difficult to do. Because again, we're not just taking that from anywhere else. We have to build that ourselves. And when we do that, that means that for the first time ever by designing this, you have a point source light that we designed this chip that actually matches your panel lights as well too. So everything dials into one place. So um, again, 600C Pro. Pro meaning, of course, too, that it has all the other Pro features that our other LS Pro features have. So yes, is this weatherproof? It is weatherproof already. We've already seen 1200Ds and 600Ds go out in the rain and the snow, no problem. All the control boxes and all that are also weatherproof as well. Weather Pro also means that these also have battery chargeability. So not only do these can be powered off of V-mount batteries, but if you plug this in and actually plug in household power, it'll actually charge the batteries while it's in use. Oh. And in addition to that, Pro also means that this has wireless DMX built into it, as well as, again, Citus Link, that mesh module, meaning that everything connects in one place. So, I have one more thing about Citus Link to talk about, too. Would you like to talk about that now? You, you should, you should. You mentioned it last night, but it's very exciting. Okay, so, uh, last thing to mention here is Citus Link. We have one more announcement about Citus Link. We showed this at our dinner yesterday. Um, for all the Citus Link users out there, you guys have already played with this app. If you haven't played with this app before, the way it works is, you don't need a wireless transmitter or anything like that. You don't need DMX dongles or anything like that. And we know, again, we know that a lot of people use wireless DMX, and it's a fantastic standard, and you absolutely can use wireless DMX with all the aperture lights as well, too. However, Citus Link is basically the next innovation, the next step as far as wireless networking goes. And what that means is that instead of you having to build the network, the lights already build a network by themselves. They make a web of connections between each other. Every aperture light since the 300D has actually had those chips built in, and this light is no different. Now, what that means for people that have played with this app, you guys know how easy to use this app is. One of the innovations that we want to show that we showed last night is Citus Link now has Citus Link DMX. And what that means is that if you've been on a set ever and you've had to switch between Citus Link and Luminaire and Blackout and all these different apps, which we see so many people doing, a stare app and all this stuff, what that means is that anyone that has spent the time in terms of learning Citus Link, and again, it doesn't really take a lot of time, super easy, easy unit race. If you do that, all non-aperture lights that have wireless DMX are now controllable via Citus Link as well. So yesterday we had a stereo tubes, we had sky panels, we were controlling all of them and actually shifting through all the colors there. How as well. does that work? I mean, did you are you hacking those <laughs> hacking those other lights? I wondered. I mean, it's like actually we worked on the Citus Link module itself. The actual transmission that we do, we actually have it communicating directly with those chips as well too. So actually, your phone is actually communicating directly and it's actually splitting the signal. But what what do you have to hook up to a, to a sky panel so it works? You need nothing, actually. If you have wireless DMX built into the light already, you don't have to plug in anything. If it doesn't have wireless DMX, which there are some lights out there that don't have wireless DMX, we are actually building modules. All you gotta do is plug it into your light, a plug-in hard DMX port, and now those lights also have side of sync as well too, which means that things like Color Picker, Magic Program, if you didn't know what those are, Color Picker means I can use my phone, scan any color, and automatically match that effect. Magic Program is pixel mapping between multiple fixtures. You can now do that all on Citus Link, and you can now do it with your Asteras and your Quasars and your Sky Panels. So this one right now, um, we teased it yesterday. We're not releasing it yet. I can't talk about availability just yet, but we did show a full demo of that as well, too, so you can check out more information. Is that a free app? I can't release any other information about it right now. But, um, you know, it's, it's Aperture, and we're going to do the best we can to make everything easy. And again, Citus Link already is a free app, so, yes. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Absolutely. Let's talk about pricing availability of this puppy. Absolutely. So, availability for this, this is coming out in Q3, uh, early Q3 2022. This is very, very soon. Pre-orders are open today, though, actually. So you can actually place pre-orders today. Pricing, we're talking about approximately 2500 so it's uh, 2490 So. I don't need to do basically any of the checking. Just do a quick online search. You can compare it versus other brands. Um, what this means for a lot of people is that point source RGB lighting is now available for, for an entire group of people that had never existed for before. And then again, we have already done the tests versus the comparisons of any other RGB brand out there. Uh, RGB ACL, we've already done tests again with all those. The main thing that I would say is just check the SSI. We already win as far as spectral similarity to actual daylight. Um, you're not going to find anything else better in terms of color and brightness. I didn't even mention brightness, Nino. Still time. The real quick, the P six the the six hundred C is actually twice as bright as the Ari Orbiter. We're talking about 
one fifth the volume in terms of size. And then in terms of weight, we're talking about 30% lighter than the orbiter as well too. While again, being twice as bright, and that's conservative, we've measured as much as high as three times as bright in many places as well. Very cool. How confident are you about, about availability? Because we know yeah. a lot of brands are struggling in these times with yeah, supply chain problems. That's very true. That's so. very true. Um, how do I answer that? We, we feel good about it. I mean, we have a fully working, we have actually, we have three of these lights here today. That giant light that's rigged up there is also actually one of those panels. So I'll change that and show a couple colors for you there. Um, we have multiple working prototypes of this already running. We just have to do a production run. These are ready to go. So well, looking forward to reviewing it, checking it out. Yeah, so, looking forward yeah. to it. That's good. All right. Thank you, Ted. Cool. Thanks, Nino. Appreciate it. And we'll have another video with you in a second. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Synity for more from Aperture, more from NEB 2022. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Thanks, guys.